So the story goes back to um, actually many years ago when, when I was walking with my dad past uh, part of the now in Cairo where he grew up and it was dirty, like like dirty, dirty. The surface was dirty. You could see the, the water pollution and also smell the bad water quality actually. And he, he told me like, hey, can you imagine I was swimming here as a little kid, like we're talking 50, 60 years ago. And he stood still for, I guess, like five or 10 seconds, just looking at this spot. For me, it was like an instant motivation to start the Nile cleanup. Back in the days, actually, you could see they would treat the Nile more as a source of energy, where they knew they needed the water. And I think throughout the years, in the people's mind, uh, in the garbage, especially how they treated garbage, they didn't really care about what happened to the Nile because they just yeah, it happened to be like this. Um, I think the main thing what we what we did in the last years is change the consciousness in the people's mind and bring back not only my my piece of the pride but the national pride of Egypt. The great news is we cleaned up the whole Nile. We started off seven years ago um, in Cairo. And we, we first cleaned up from Cairo to Luxor because my dad's from Luxor and grew up in Cairo. And we, we decided like, hey, let's just, we have to start somewhere. Um, first of all, we actually started off with the consciousness of the people. First, the, the local communities need to be involved and be conscious that whatever they're doing on a small scale will affect the whole now on a bigger scale. After getting the local communities on board, we actually got the governor and, and the city itself on board. And we worked with the Ministry of Environment, uh, very cool. They supported us and they said, okay, very, very nice that you have taken this initiative. It's super important that we work on the environment and especially with the knowledge that we had um, and they didn't take action. I'm very happy that we with the team and especially the team who worked hard have achieved working together with, as I said, 11 countries, 11 different governments, um, thousands of people. And now more than 20, 30 million people have access to clean Nile water every day and um, yeah again I'm, I'm super happy we've achieved and the next goal is cleaning up other rivers worldwide um, obviously the, the Amazon um, India and even the smaller ones is our next big step for us